Hello the boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new video. In this canvas tutorial I'm going to show you what you can do with canvas and HTML and JavaScript. I will show you everything about canvas in this tutorial series. Let's start with tutorial number one and the basics of the canvas. So as you can see I opened this main.js and I have an index.html opened and first things first we're gonna start by creating the canvas. The canvas is just an easy HTML tag like div container or like a body container and you can create this by a tag element with tag canvas and of course you can give the, the roots like ID, class, height or width or something else like that and let's first things first start with the ID of canvas just give them the ID of canvas all right so we close it and that's all you have to do in the HTML file um, let's go to the main.js I included the main.js in my index.html and let's start coding all right first things first we need to get this canvas tag so let's say let canvas be equal to document dot get element by ID and of course we take the ID with canvas and we will say for example um, we can style it um, we can say canvas um, dot style dot background um, will be equal to a green or something else like that so let's just say for example this color and if we save it you see this is our canvas right now and of course we can give it a width and a height so let's say for example um, variable window height will be equal to window dot inner height and variable window width that's the name we give to this variables will be equal to window dot inner width all right and now we're gonna say canvas dot width is equal to window width all right so if you save it now you can see it will take the whole width of the page and of course we're going to say canvas dot height will be equal to window height so as you can see now I'll take the whole window and as you can see the canvas has a lot of standard attributes like width height class and id you can use really simple right and of course you can change the attributes here as well in the element in the index.html in the html file so you can say it, for example height is equal to let's say something like 300 or width is equal to something like 300 you can do this here as well but of course we will do this in the javascript file so we delete this again but how is it possible to create some objects into the canvas like rectangles or circles something like that so what we need to do first we need to declare the context of the canvas so we're gonna say let and we're gonna say context is equal to canvas that's the canvas here dot get context um, you can see it now dot get context and the context is 2d um, all right so what we do now is we can just create some simple and easy uh, forms or objects into our uh, canvas okay so let's start by creating a little rectangle so we can say context that's what we declared here dot fill rect dot fill rect and now you can see you need the x and y position that's the coordinates of where you put in the rect and you can see the width and the height so how where you can see how big is the rectangle all right so let's start by I put it in zero zero and width let's say 100 and height 100 all right so let's save it and now you can see there is at the position zero zero on the top left there is a rectangle with the width of 100 and the height of 100 right so you can give it a um, height of 200 and it will be bigger and of course you can change the coordinates so you can say 100 and it will uh, push to the right really simple right all right and of course you can just copy this and take another one so let's make it a little bit more on the middle 
and save it. And here we got a second, all right? So you can, of course, take a lot of rects into this canvas. And of course you can style this. Um, that's really easy to do. What you need to do is really simple. You just need to say context dot fill style is equal to, let's say something like, um, I don't know, red. And as you can see, nothing will happen now because the declaration is behind the two rectangles. So you have to declare that before the rectangles to see the difference. So now it's red. And if you copy this and put it between the two rectangles, only the one behind will be red. Okay. So we can make it a little bit bigger. You can see the difference here. And of course you can do more forms. So let Let's put this a little bit to the right here. And of course you can do more forms. You can just create a circle, for example. Let's do a create a circle here. And what you need to do is really simple. You just need to say context dot begin path. You need to say context dot arc. Arc is something to create a circle. And you, again, you need the X and Y position to start positions. So let's start by, let's say, something like 100, 100, and you need a radius right now. And let's give it a radius of 50. And you need a start angle, for example, zero, and the end angle, let's say something like math.p multiplied with two. And you need to say if it's anti-clockwise, so against the clock, but of course we say false here. All right, so nothing will happen now because we have to say context.stroke. And here we go. Uh, here we have our circle right now. And um, stroke is another thing. And of course you have at least to say context.close path. Now we can close it again. And you can change stroke style by um, adding some code here. For example, you can say context.stroke stroke style is equal to let's say something like red again or no let's take another color let's take blue and now the circle is blue and of course only the stroke styles are blue so this is a stroke style arc and it's blue here right now and of course you can say um, things like um, context dot line with is equal to and let's say for example 20 and now it's a much bigger line width and the stroke style is a little bit come to yeah you can change some styles here right now all right i hope you guys liked the first video but this was just the basics of the canvas don't stop watch continue this tutorial series in the next tutorial series we will go we will go deeper into the canvas materials and it will be really really, really awesome we will, i will show you how to move and how to control simple objects, how to generate them dynamic with classes. See you in the next video. Bye.